Howard, thank you so much for stopping by and, and uh, inviting me to be a part of the listening chair. Here at Expona 2023, I'm Norman Varney with AV Room Service, and uh, we do specialize in acoustics. Um, and that's anything from design, construction, uh, materials and methods, to uh, testing and, and modeling. But we also make a, a quite a few products, acoustical products. And here at the show, we'll talk uh, about some of the ones that are small enough that I could bring in the car. Most of you are probably familiar with the equipment vibration protectors, which is what we're showing uh, here. We'll take you to the booth and show you what's new. But for those of you who are not familiar with it, I'll tell you a, a little bit about those and give you a, a quick little demonstration. It's a simple um, but relatable demonstration and it's done with a music box. So this little music box mechanism in the air, the impedance match is poor and so it's very hard to hear. Those tines are moving plus or minus 0 0.1 millimeter. Okay. But they are going down to about 500 hertz. Very hard to hear, but if I couple them to anything, that's about a 27 dB increase. Interesting. And now this whole tabletop now, it's only moving a few billionths of a meter, but it is amplifying those, those frequencies by about 27 to 30 dB. So that's called coupling. And often in the audiophile business, uh, or, or industry, we see these kinds of hard, dense, rigid couplers being used under loudspeakers in particular, but under any components. Right. Footers. Right. Yeah, yeah. And this will conduct vibrations very easily. Okay. Everyone will be different, everyone will be unique, and it will have resonances in the audible range, and it will color the sound. Right. What we want to do is decouple. And like I say, this energy is nothing compared to an actual speaker or a subwoofer. And yet anything with these guys, the EVPs, these are layers of fiberglass and we offer different densities and different sizes for different weights. It's okay. When we're talking about isolation or decoupling, we're always talking about loading properly. Okay. And so we make these in different sizes and densities for different components. How many? Um, of those do you recommend per component? Right, so there, on the website there's a, um, um, a calculator and you put in the weight of the component that you're interested in isolating and it will tell you what those options are. Okay. And then we make custom ones too, but it might be three, uh, might be four, or it might be five. Okay. Just uh, kind of depends on, on your particular situation. The layers of fiberglass, when you load it properly, so when you do use that calculator and load it properly, the natural resonant frequency is 3.4 hertz, and they become effective from 5 hertz on up. Conservative, conservatively, they will mitigate more than 90% of the energy from 5 hertz on up, and this is lab proven, and like all of our acoustical products, we have a third-party accredited lab publish those uh, reports, and, and then we publish them on the website for you to see. Yeah, what's your background? I've worked as an acoustical engineer for uh, MIT, for Owens Corning at their Science and Technology Center, for Kinetics Noise Control, and now for my company. And, and as of the last five years, I've been focusing more on developing products for my company. And so I'll, I'll show you what some of those are and what's new here at the Expona. All right, so here we are at the booth at Expona 2023, and I'm going to talk about some of the new products that we've got a couple of prototypes and we've got a couple of new products that we're going to talk about. New product, we've got a large cable vibration protector for when you've got a group uh, or a bundle of cables or maybe a loop. This will save you some money. You don't have to buy as, as many of these guys. So that's new. Uh, we also have a new polycylindrical diffuser. You, we introduced this last year. We've got one that's twice as big behind me here. This is four feet by two feet. Same polyflex diffuser, just larger. So those are two new products. And then we've got a couple of prototypes. Sometimes there's a, now this is a real poor prototype in that I put this together just the day before leaving the show and uh, vinyl wrapped it and I'm not very good at that. But the concept is if you've got a turntable that is 
more than one piece, you've got maybe a separate motor and or tone arm, then it's difficult to isolate well. So you need a platform. This is going to be a, it's a um, constrained layer damping with a rubber on top and then a vinyl wrap, inexpensive, lightweight flint that'll hold hundreds of pounds. And then you put three EVPs under it. So that's a simple solution for a multi-piece turntable for isolation. And then lastly, this is also a prototype. Okay. We have uh, chassis, component chassis that rain. We want to damp them. So we use a constrained layer, uh, our damping com compound in here and sand, and we wrap it with a, a, a copper foil. So it has, a, it has a dual purpose and it will damp inexpensively and easily the chassis. Awesome, well thanks Norm, really right, appreciate thank it. Thanks for having us. Thank you and so much. We'll see you soon. All right. Thank you Howard for coming by to talk with me about Claris Cable. Uh, I'm Joe Perfito when I'm the president of Claris Cable and the founder of Claris Cable. Uh, we introduced Claris Cable in 2013 at the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest. Okay. And since then we've been selling our products throughout the United States and overseas. Where are you guys located? We're located in Orlando, Florida. That's where we actually put to get cables together where cables are made in USA. So Claris is a, a brand of our parent company is Gordon J. Gao Technologies. Uh, we have two brands, Tributaries and Claris. Claris is our high-end cable brand. Claris Cable is uh, a patented design and we license the patents from Jay Victor. Jay is the patent holder and we license his patents and we design and manufacture to his standards. Jay Victor is an independent consultant and cable designer. He holds about 50 patents in high-end cable design, and he's worked for many of the companies in our industry, and we're very proud to have him as part of our, our, our team. Okay, so obviously there's many, many cable manufacturers out there these days. What makes Claris different? We've put this cable up against many different cables, and we've had independent people tell us that our cables are the best sounding cables they've ever used. And the reason for this is the technology that goes along with the patent. And that is, it's based on the idea that we can have three different cable sizes and shapes. We have, uh, we have cable or conductors that are, are heavy gauge conductors for low frequency. We use flat conductors for the mid-range and then we use spiral ribbon conductors for the high frequency. Jay uh, was in the development of this particular cable for 10 years in bringing the, this cable to market, that is, figuring out what are the different gauges to be used in the cable, how many of these should be used, what the size of the flat cable should be, all the different independent theories on how this cable should be manufactured, what, what the components should go into it. The whole difference for our cable is the sound. It is, the performance is extraordinary. The sound stage, the sound, the depth, the focus, the high frequency clarity and low frequency uh, tightness is amazing. And also I must say that the cable is extremely neutral. That was one of Jay's primary design considerations was to have a cable that would be neutral. Under Jay's designs, a single cable could have conductors of different, of different geometries, correct? That's correct. Okay, interesting. And so we'll back up a second here, we'll get you kind of the full the fuel in here, but um, you're holding um, a, a cutaway of a power cord, it looks like. What cables and cords does, does Claris manufacture? Okay, this particular cable is our Aqua Series high current power cable. Okay. And this is something, again, we make in Orlando. All the parts and pieces, the connectors, are all proprietary. These are all our design that we have made for us. Let me give you a little example of how this is made. The cover for the connector is, is made of a um, carbon fiber, which acts as a, a shielding to keep out any extraneous fields. Underneath this carbon fiber is a solid brass ring. It's a ring that goes entirely around and then the, it's capped by this carbon fiber. Now these, all these conductors that are inside each of these three are different gauges and also they're all completely insulated. So even though it looks like it's a, a stranded, bunch of stranded cables, these are all insulated conductors so they don't touch one another. These are all uh, tellurium copper. Everything is proprietary. These are our 
These are made for us to our designs. Um, this particular cable is the high current section. We also make a source cable that is a smaller gauge. Our high end series is crimson. Okay. The crimson power cord, the high current section, is an eight gauge power cord. We use the same type of fabrication and, and assembly, but it's done to an eight gauge cord. So in order for us to have a connector that would fit, we had to have these connectors specially made for us okay. so that we could get everything connected internally. Okay, and so I guess you, get, you mentioned signal cables, you make speaker cables? We make speaker cables, we make a standard, what we call a single-ended, which is a two-to-two. -two. We also make a bi-wire speaker cable. Uh, we also make, in the Crimson line, our uh, single-ended RCAs, balanced audio XLRs, uh, digital cable, uh, a, a, uh, well, that's a coax digital, then aes EBU, and we make a USB cable in addition to that. Then we also have a subwoofer cable. Our subwoofer cable is actually a separate cable that's designed for low frequency application. What are the, like, the, the price ranges? Yeah, the audio cable, the Aqua audio cable uh, is in the $800 price range. And then the- For signal uh, cable. Our, Yeah, for a single RCA pair. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the Crimson, it's about $1,500 for okay. a pair. Uh, and then on our speaker cable, a single-ended speaker cable, a pair, is about 6000 And how about the power cords? Uh, the power cords, the, the Crimson six-foot high-current power cord is 3000 Joe, thanks a lot. Thanks for okay. having us over. Yeah, You're and, welcome, uh, Howard. It was uh, great. Thank you for taking yeah. the time to do this. We appreciate it. No problem. Have a great show. Okay, thank you. We will.